Hi guys, today we've got another question of the day video. And today's question of the day is um, um should LEDC workers be treated better? Okay? Now, first of all, I want to start and just gradually build up to it. Um I want to start off by saying an LEDC worker is someone who works in another country and people in different countries like pop, pop an LEDC stands for less economically developed country which would mean a poorer country in as far as the economical side so that would be poor places like um, Indonesia um, Ch no prob China is probably more more in the middle but I I'd say India places like that um, a lot of them tend to work on the sewing machines and get treated a lot bad and that's what I want to talk about today another thing as well um, they are getting treated really bad in these countries, they're getting very low wages. Um, they're getting treated very badly. It's a low wages. Um, it's very unhygienic. And if they get a disease or anything, or a little cut, and they moan about it, they'll get sacked straight away. Any talking, and they might get some physical punishment, a slap or a, or a whip or anything like that. Um, they have to work in silence for about hours for something stupid, you know, as far as money. So you have to work so many hours for some little money, right? And um, and and they're not allowed to talk to anyone, and they only get a half an hour break in between it. Um, and they don't um, they get sat. Uh, I think they don't get any money at all from taking breaks. In fact, if they if they miss three times that for if they do a break three times, then they're not allowed to do their job again, and they'll get sacked and they'll have no job and probably be homeless without any more money um, but um, yeah as I was saying before um, yeah so that, that's that's basically it they'll get paid a lot of money for a little time and whereas in the, in the UK or somewhere like out of the USA you're allowed to take time off, time off and get paid you know what I mean um, but anyway I'm gonna look at um, some paragraphs here and today's question of the day comes from makewaves.com um, and we're gonna read it now so it starts off by saying globalization is the term used to describe the process where the world is becoming interconnected as a result of trade and cultural exchange. Globaliza globalization has been taking place for many years, but in the past half century it sped up dramatically. The sharing of ideas, traditions and lifestyles has spread around the world in many different ways. The three main forms of spreading ideas around the world are communications, transport and trade liberalization. Examples of improved communications include TV, telephone systems and the internet. These have allowed information to spread around the world very quickly. The jet age means that we can now quickly tra travel um, to all countries, taking traditions and ideas to them with us. Um, trade liberation has changed it, and the restriction of trade and foreign um, investment has been decreased. The idea that there should be no restrictions between trades with countries is known as free trade. Free trade started about 50 years ago in Europe. The trade um, between the countries of Europe form the European Union. The rules don't apply to places like the USA and third world countries. The um, European Union is now um, trying to develop more free trade countries to trade with. Transnational cooperation is TNCs. Globalization has resulted in companies investing in the country. For example, by building a factory or shop. This is known uh, as inward investment. Companies that operate in many countries are called transnational cooperation TNCs. Popular well known TNCs include McDonald's, Nike and Shell. Most TNCs come from more economically developed countries, MEDCs such as um, the US and um, the UK. Um, that's all I'm going to read, there's, there's another half to it but I don't think we should read anymore. There is quite a lot of information there. Yeah so basically this is what's happening right. There's I'm going to go from the start right. So you've got some poor women feeling really bored, just sewing and sewing all day, right? And it's very strict, don't forget. They get paid very little, right? And they have to sleep there. And they have to get up very early in the morning. Hardly any rest at all. It's such a boring life for them. Just to get money for their families and whatever. And then, once they've sewed all these clothes, these clothes then get shipped off to an MEDC, a more economically developed country like the UK, the USA and then they start selling them and like they they have more money then and like they're earning more money so customers are paying what a pound for 
like Primark and say like a pound maybe for a cheap dress when actually that's meant to cost more by the hard working time what someone's been paid in in LED LEDC country so this person's made what a hundred pound tops she should be getting a hundred pounds from that when actually she only got a pound you know that's ridiculous you know they really get treated bad unhygienic you know it's not clean it's all messy cramp heater you know warm just keep doing it the manager's strict with them and they get nothing there's no comments in here for opinions but I'm I'm gonna give you um, some re reasons why why it is good though and the reason it is good is because that's the only job on offer at the moment Um, that's that's the only job on offer at the moment yeah Um. Um, otherwise, if they didn't have that job, they'd be homeless and skint, and they really would not be able to live a true life. So that job is the only positive option for them. Although it does have a lot of negative outcomes, and I personally, and I'm sure a vast majority of you guys think that this should not happen because it's very unfair. Mm, I think, and I'm sure a lot of you think again, the way people are being treated. I, I think. People who don't think this, people who don't think this is um, unfair. I, I think people who think this is fair have misunderstood something here because you know it is a very serious thing, guys. At the end of the day, people are making things that you can buy for cheap, and they put you know buttloads of effort into it. And all you've had to do is go out and you know take a penny out of your pocket. You know, is that really worth all that hard work that this person's done? Okay. And there's no comments on this website for this particular question, so I'm just going to expand on my opinion a little bit. Then I'm going to come to the end of the video in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's what I think though. Because if you imagine like being cramped in that little room, work, 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 next, work, 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 break, work, 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 break. Well, you know, just two little breaks during the day, sleep for a few hours, back up in the morning, get back in your machines, and you carry on. You know. It must be a very difficult life to be one of those people, and um, that's where immigration comes into it. And um, people have arguments against that whether it is, is that a big enough step or not. You know, I also did make another video uh, whether um, immigration such should be allowed. Okay, um, there's there, there's the end of my video, guys. So thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you tomorrow with a question of the day video. Bye.